This video on S3 Fox Organizer will show you how to save time and eliminate certain frustrations related to important files and folders on your computer. You're going to learn how to set up and complete quick backups or folder synchronizations with push button ease. This video is a must see. We've got our S3 Firefox Organizer opened up and what we're going to be working with here today is the synchronization of your folders. And one good example that comes to mind is let's say you're in the middle of creating your new product, be it a video, graphics, ebook, whatever. You are then interrupted midway by the kids screaming, it's time for dinner, you got to go to work, whatever the case, and you want to make sure that you save your work. No big deal. But you want to take it a step further and back up that saved work to somewhere off site. Say, for example, your S3 account. Good example, seems how that's what we're doing here. So what, the best way to do that, or a great way to do that, is to use this feature under S3 Firefox Organizer, and that is synchronizing folders. So you've got a folder created on your computer where your work is taking place. This is where you are creating your PDF ebook, or your videos, or your graphics, or whatever. Name it whatever you want. Again, that's totally up to you. Now then, what's going to happen is you're going to create a folder on your S3 account to back that information up and then when you get back home from work or you settle the kids down or you get through with the dinner and dessert you come back to work and you add content to that folder you are tweaking your graphics or you're adding another paragraph to your ebook whatever now it's time to watch the football game or you know the kids are at it again whatever the case you're interrupted and you gotta save your work and while you're saving it might as well back it up again so you are simply synchronizing or mirroring the folder you have on your computer with the folder that you've created on your S3 account. That way not only is your stuff saved, but it's safe because it's off-site. If your computer blows up while you're calming the kids down or you're in the middle of a football game, heaven forbid, then the uh, information is still safe as of the last time that you synchronize your folders. And it's really quite simple. Number one, you've got your computer you've got your folder created on your computer as to where you're doing your work no problemo that's probably a given you do that all the time anyway right you know for organizational purposes now all you gotta do is create a folder on your S3 account to house that stuff now we have to of course maintain the rules that go along with creating buckets now you can have this in any existing bucket you can create a bucket totally up to you you can create a, a a separate bucket for all of your product creation backups so you've got all of them in all the stages just saved however you want to do it but in this instance for this example we're going to create a new bucket and we're going to try to remain globally unique that's the hardest part about making these videos <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen of course with the power of editing yeah you got that under control so let's go ahead and try to come up with something off the cuff here like uh, new dot product dot folder. Now yeah, let's see how this is going to fly. Okay, and nobody's thought of that one yet. Now inside of this folder, we're going to create another, I'm sorry, that's a bucket, folks. Don't get me wrong, that's a bucket. Now, inside of that bucket, we're going to create a folder, and we're going to specify this particular product. Again, it's totally up to you how you do this. I'm just throwing this out there for examples. Let's say XYZ product because I lack imagination and this is the name of my new product. Click on OK. Now then, this is the path to the contents within this folder right here. And to synchronize the folders, now that we've got the folder on our S3 account created, we got the folder on our computer created where we're going to keep all of our goodies as we're creating that product, let's synchronize the two. Left click on this button up here, we want to add or remove folders. Now, for simplicity's sake, what I'm going to do first before I open that up is I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to click in here and then right click, then left click on select all. So everything in here from the forward slash, the backward slash, the dots, the periods, everything is going to be selected. Then I'm going to right click and copy. Now, all of this stuff in here is now on my clipboard. Now, of course, you can do it the hard way and just type everything in, but you have to have the forward slash at the beginning, the forward slash here to separate the bucket from the folder, and if we go to the very end, you'll see there's also a forward slash at the end. All of this stuff is going to be required here in just a second. So we left-click on this, add remove folders, and you can name this whatever you want. We're going to probably, in this case, you want to name it to replicate the folder that you're currently working with, the product you're currently creating on your computer. So, in this case, it is XYZ, and again, name it whatever you want. It's just 
for easy remembrance. That's all this is for. X Y Z P R O D U C T and local folder path. That's one on a computer. Local is for computer, and that would be the new product right here. Just select that, and click OK. Remote folder path. Remote is internet, folks. Okay, so local is home. That's the computer. Remote is far away. That's your internet. And then we just paste in here what I just copied from the S3 account. And we got the forward slash new dot product dot folder forward slash. That's the bucket. Then the folder we're going to be synchronizing all of our goodie stuff in. And then we end that with the final forward slash here. Click on add. There we go. Click on save. We are good to go. Now then, let's synchronize these guys. Because you see the contents of this folder right here are uh, on our in our bucket. That's empty. But the contents of our folder on our desktop where we're working is not empty. That's our work. Okay, the kids are screaming it's time for dinner or halftime is over with and the game's about to start. So let's synchronize these guys. Come on back up here. Click on the product that we are going, to, and you can have as many of these as you want, as many as you, as you create. So we're going to put to S3. Get is download, put is upload. Do you wish to skip upload of unchanged files since last upload? Eh, click OK. Let's skip it. So that way, you, everything that is not in here that is on your folder will be uploaded, and everything that is in here that is also on your in your folder will be skipped. Now, of course, it's going to upload this again if we made any changes to this. So, again, it's just a simple backup, an impending backup of sorts. Now then, to kind of test this, let's move this down here just a bit. Let's throw something else in here. Oh, what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Uh, let's say, I think I got an image here of some cameras I'm trying to sell. And if anybody's interested, I'm no, just joking. Okay, so now that I've got my images in here to go along with the ebook, you know, come on, use your imagination. Now then, let us synchronize this because halftime is over with, third quarter is getting ready to start. I got my chips, my drink. Let's synchronize this again. Put to, okie dokie. It goes to that folder, and everything is hunky dory. Boom. See, we're done. So all you have to do is just click on this. And the uh, folder that you've already created and selected, you click on that and head on off to settle the kids down, go eat the food, watch the TV, whatever you're doing. That's how easy it is to synchronize your folders using S3 Firefox Organizer. And that's it, folks. Thank you very much for watching this video. You have a great day.